babe. We did it. Today is the day. The day we've been dreaming of. The day we've been hoping and waiting for. Today is the culmination of our adventure so far. And what an adventure it's been. Little did I know that just over three years ago, when you walked through the door on our first date and took my breath away, that you would continue to do so every day from then to today and for every day in the future. Little did I know that I was meeting the most kind, caring, compassionate, selfless person that I will soon have the honor of calling my wife. Luke, I can't believe this day is finally here. You entered my life in an unconventional way, but you have been an absolute blessing in my life and I can't imagine having gone through these last few months without you by my side. I prayed that God would bless me with a man who loves, adores, and respects me and you exceeded any standard I could have imagined. You are gentle and kind and thoughtful. She will always make you feel included, no matter what. She has the biggest smile, she has the brightest personality, she has the funniest and goofiest laugh. I love his sense of humor. He's very goofy and uh, nerdy <laughs> and knows how to make me laugh. Um, but he's very thoughtful. Um, he's always like catering to me. I love how caring she is about everything. She's, she's friendly to everyone. She's supportive of anything that you want to do. She genuinely cares about who you are, what you have going on in your life. I mean, she's a nurse. It's, it's, it's like built into her. It's woven into her. She knows exactly what she wants to do. She is very determined. She, she knows what she wants, when she wants, how she wants it. I think that's the biggest thing is that he is always super supportive and is constantly giving himself and doing chores and uh, cooking for me all the time. <laughs> and uh, she, she always goes to that, you know, and, uh, and I don't ever have to worry because I know that she's always going to be there. Hey. <laughs> You ready? Beautiful. No. <laughs> I cannot wait to see you up there on the altar next to me. And I don't know which one of us is going to be squeezing each other's hands harder, but uh, we'll get through it and everything will be fine. And uh, I love you. Wow. <laughs> Can I kiss you? Yeah. Definitely, like, I had visions in my head and this far exceeds, but I knew I was thinking. So. Well, good. <laughs> I love you so much. You are my rock. I promise to give you my everything every day. Always. I promise to always be the support for you in the good times as much as the bad, and the bad times as much as the good, and the ugly times as much as the beautiful times. They say that love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others. <laughs> It is not self-seeking, and it is not easily angered. In you, I have found all these characteristics and so much more. I promise to pick you up if you are down, to love you unconditionally, to care for you and our families for as long as we live, to adventure with you always, to say I love you before falling asleep each night, <laughs> to be the best mom I can be as we grow our family together and to always know in the deepest part of my soul 
that when challenges arise, we will always find our way back to each other. I promise to always support you and to laugh at your dad jokes. <laughs> I promise <laughs> to allow you to watch an occasional A&M game and give you all the touchdown kisses. Lastly, I vow that my heart is yours and only yours forever. You are my one true love, and I promise to honor you and God through our relationship and in all things, always. I now get to pronounce you husband and wife. They say love like this comes once in a lifetime. For the first time I believe it to be true. So good night, good night. My name is Trevin Hazel, for those that don't know me, I am the worst best man ever for Luke. My name's Abby. Jocelyn and I have been friends uh, since we were about three years old, I think. Made friends at preschool. I consider her my very first friend I ever made. You are the best thing. Secretly, one of the things that Luke was most worried about tonight that he didn't tell anyone was what stories am I going to tell about him? So I promise Luke not to talk about Panama City or Gulf Shores or Marshall the Brazos or Las Vegas. We grew up together, spent the weekends together, all of our fun sleepovers and spent those nights talking about boys and dreaming about boys and now we're at her wedding to a boy who is wonderful. So it's really a sweet thing for me to be here seeing you two together after decades of dreaming about this day. I would like to say that from then on, we just had this happy-go-lucky friendship, but we really didn't. We both got punched in the face with life time and again health issues, emotional issues, money issues, job issues, academic issues. And the common ish thing was we were there together. He would call me, I would call him, and though no one else was there, me and Luke always had each other. Every time Jocelyn and I were together, there was something new, something fun that we were doing, um, and it was always her idea. Jocelyn is just the most consistent and loyal person that I know and always has been. The thing with Jocelyn is that if she chooses you, she chooses you forever. I couldn't be happier. Luke has someone to share his life with. It's just amazing. And that COVID did not stop all of us from being able to share this moment with him. To Luke and Jocelyn. Cheers to the mid -kiffs.